it's not for Marvel. It's gonna take something special, man. Yeah, when that second goal went in, I really everything just sort of sunk for me. I thought I can't believe, but uh, you know, we're playing this. That's it, done and dusted. Good season, boys. Sun like in the grand final. And we stick to yourselves all over. Against all the odds, you know, no one was really backing us to win. And 15 minutes to go to win the grand final. Um, it's so close, you know, we had one hand on the, on the trophy. I didn't think 2 0 was enough. I remember Oli Bezanich after he scored that all he ran over to the bench and they all dived on top of him and was just outside of uh, the coaches square and I got, I walked out of the coaches square and I was screaming at him, it's not over, it's not over, 2 0 is a dangerous, dangerous scoreline, Brisbane won't stop here, it's not over. Matty uh, pulled us in and you know, really inspired us all. Yeah, just explain to him that um, you know, we've done this before, we've scored two goals in 15 minutes and probably it's the most um, influential speech that he's given. Come on boys, you know, it's 15 to go, let's give it all we've got and you know, let's roll the dice. The Central Coast Mariners are 15 minutes from glory. I hate 2-0, that's the scoreline. 2-0 is the worst scoreline than 1-0. Yeah, no, it's always hardest to uh, lead to defend 2-0. As we played Iran in 97, and the central defender, I can't remember his name for Iran, we were 2-0 up. And basically on halfway, he dragged on the ball and fell over. And it was like, you know, it's over. You know, we've got them. And it was one uh, situation where it just happened in front of us, in front of the bench, made him a He gave away the most simple ball that I've ever seen him away the whole season, and, or, and he nearly fell over the ball. And we broke on him. And we had the opportunity, it was a 2v1. We, didn't, we didn't, uh, didn't take it, but I thought straight back to the Oranga on the bench. And uh, I was turning into Phil Moss, I said, This ain't over. Trash talking going on, and trying to be off the toss. Yeah, Danny obviously being confident, you know, being 2 0 up. He got a bit excited, and uh, yeah, he sort of, I think he went like that to me, giving a bit of mouth. Made that two minutes, the emotion of that game. That's what's going to happen. A bit of fire up a lot of both sides that. Yeah, it's not nice, but. You can't change it, you know, you just gotta roll with it and uh, take it on the chin. He was obviously a bit chirp, you know, yeah, fair, fair play to not team a lot. That's just football. You know, if there was one thing that was probably disappointing for me in the, in the, in the last five or so minutes of the, the second part of this time is, you know, the nearest uh, man told me to go the ball away. And they thought, alright, I'm gonna park the bus, have everyone behind the ball and just give him the ball, so. If you do that with us, you know, that's all we love to do is attack and attack. And I remember Matty McKay having the ball and he played a wonderful to uh, Sorzano. Yes, Sorzano just going away, Andy. So he just cuts it back to Thomas, and Thomas has the vision to take a touch. Henri Kay! It's 2 1! Game on! The grand final is not dead yet for Brisbane! Just, I don't know, I can't really explain what, um, what happened out there. And they just got the shot off it. It wasn't enough at that stage. Listening to yourself, well, at least we got one back. Four minutes to go. And, you know, there's a little bit of gap. You still think we can hold on here. Where are we going to get another chance? How are we going to create a Brisbane World chance in two minutes? Well, 
I slip through the ball. I just sort of hit the target and uh, I can manage to land and just sort of go on top of that. And uh, Josh Rose on the post and just sailed over his head so I knew it was a bit better. Just the thing with the net bowl, uh, the place absolutely erupted. I don't know, just the atmosphere was amazing. The, the sound was electric and the whole body was going to shock. You don't, you don't really remember that moment. Um, running off and celebrating, it's just, it's all on the ground. I can remember watching the replay at home and the evening sort of the, the camera goes on to Maddie and it's, it's probably better than my celebration to see the relief and the happiness of his face and it was probably the most iconic image that I've ever found to see what it meant to someone. Arms out, you know, looking to the, to the gods and 